Hans, a tough game here against Ali Reza Feruja. You seem a bit concerned. Do you think you missed a chance? Of course I missed a chance. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Tell us a little bit through some of these variations. You played this great move, Queen G3. What were you expecting from here? Okay, this entire game was just brilliant for me uh, up until Bishop D3. Like, uh, Queen G3 and, uh, okay, let's say King H8. Or yeah. he, he played King H8, no? What if he takes? Bishop what? H6. Uh -huh. Okay, let's say G6. Okay, uh, I, I don't even need to show variations. You just look at the position. Yeah? Like, okay, let's say... Okay, only reason bishop g5 isn't working immediately because maybe f6 works. Right, f6? So, fine, not this here, but just f4. Like, I don't, like, simply f4, and then what is black going to play? f4 where? Instead of bishop g5, just f4, like, uh, what, 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 what's happening? Okay, my pieces are literally perfect. His pieces are just terrible. I have bishop g5 next. I simply go, like, h4, h5. Like, uh, I'm, uh, come on, it has to be lost. Like, okay. I don't understand what universe this is not completely lost. For example, let's say king h7, bishop g5, queen e8, rook d7, queen e7, queen h4, bishop, king, king h7, bishop g5, take on d7, queen h4, bishop c6, for example. So if king h7 yeah. doesn't move, then, then okay, what's the move? Uh, queen e7 Seems to go to c5, and then what are you going to do? How, there's absolutely zero way. Like, th th this side of the board's cut off. Like, okay, let's say bishop g5, okay, you, you, don't, you definitely don't have a Let's say queen c5, king h2. I can't play f6 here. f6, oh, I guess you take on c4 not. eventually. Yes. So let's say queen c5. Okay. Uh, king h2, for example. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, what, what are you playing? Uh, uh, even, okay, I just did not believe in this position for black. Like, I just don't see any universe where this is uh, holdable. Really? After like bishop d8 or something like this? Bishop h6. Yeah. Okay, so many moves. It's not like... A, uh, I mean, instinctively, I'm like, okay, what is this? There's just no way. There's just zero chance. Zero chance? Zero? I just don't believe it, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he didn't go for that. He went for king h8. Did you expect king h8 instead? Of course, yeah. yeah. Most, the move I expect most. And after knight d6, mm -hmm. okay, knight c5, just, uh, okay, obviously a bad move. Um, okay, the, let's, let's, I can show some variations. There's actually a really nice variation. Let's say instead of, um, what was it? Instead of, uh, okay, there's g5, let's say, instead of knight, knight c5. g5 here? Yeah, g5. So I thought that either he goes g5 and tries to do something concrete, or it's just very bad. So here, uh, even rook, uh, even h4 is a move here. Okay. And let's say, uh, take, take. Uh, you have to go king g7. Yes. And rook d3. And then rook h8 is the only move, I guess. Uh -huh. And here I was, wasn't sure. Um, here I, I thought that it maybe wasn't enough. Um, H4 but there bishop were some takes other d6, options though. I, if like, we go back, uh, Peter's asking about h4 bishop takes d6 first. Ah, yeah, this was all, this was a problem. Yeah, now I yes. Ah, this, because you take take and queen yeah, f6 exactly. at so the end, right? Maybe I was trying to make something like this work, but again, uh, there was just bishop e3 simply. Ah, yes, of course, bishop e3 bishop here, bishop e3 right? And, yeah. uh, here I was like, okay, this is this is obviously very bad. Yeah, with four coming, and you haven't sacrificed material. Exactly, and... Uh, so he plays knight c5, which you did not think was a good move. Rook d4, yeah. Yeah, rook d4. Okay, now take, take, yeah, knight e4. Of course, it's all correct. Take, take, take. Okay, and here, bishop d3. I missed, um, uh, let's say, bishop f5. Yeah. Bishop e5, queen g5, rook g4. Yeah. And I thought I'm so smart because bishop g4, f4. Right. Queen h5, hg, queen d8, queen g4, rook g8, queen f5. But then... Yes, queen c1. Yes. And here I was still, king h2, bishop uh, g4, and then, oh, I thought maybe bishop takes g7, but he just goes back to g5. I thought I even considered a 4 here, I considered queen g4, but it just wasn't working. Mm -hmm. uh, so then I, this was just a very, I should have been more uh, disciplined there with my thought process, but, but uh, and okay, let's say just instead of bishop d3, let's say bishop e3. Yeah, bishop e3 in this position we like. It's just game over, you know? Basically, right? Like, it's just pure domination. Yeah, it's a very strong position here for white. You have the pawn and the pair of bishops still strong. Yeah. So it was based on a miscalculation that you played bishop d3. We had a feeling that you had missed queen c1. Yeah, it's uh, the sort of queen c1 back to g5. It's a weird idea. But, yeah, no, I missed it. I paid the price. Yeah. 
Well, you still managed to hold on to a draw. Did you ever feel that oh, you were in danger? Hold on. I wouldn't say hold on. <laughs> Definitely, I wasn't the one holding on. Uh, even after, uh, let's say, what did I play? Rook e3, I still should have some advantage, right? Uh, without the bishops, we weren't as sure. I definitely don't think I'm ever worse here, so I think holding on would not. Not here, be for it. sure. Yeah, for, sh for sure. Here no, I, I was never in any would. danger. Uh, that's for sure. I don't think there. Uh, how, how could I ever be in danger when I have the d6 pawn? Eh? Like, uh, uh, there, uh, perhaps I could have been more, more precise. Like, I don't know, this, this g4 moment, maybe it was a bit hasty. Mm -hmm. But uh, here, okay, let's say I don't play g4. Let's say I play like. Okay, of course, I I should have an advantage here because, let's say I sit, and, let's say I go bishop four. Okay, maybe it's not a huge advantage, but okay, let's say I play c four for example. C four in this position, yeah. I think I have a slight edge here because this is so, such a passive position. Um, and then I thought uh, b six, mm -hmm. rook b three, rook b eight. B three, yes. Rook b eight. I wasn't sure how to proceed. I thought maybe bishop four. Uh -huh. But that was a bit, and you know, I always have bishop takes h6 ideas uh, looming. So right. maybe this was the way to proceed. But I definitely think I have an advantage. I just def I didn't use it the right way. I'm curious, what does the computer say? In this, in this position? Yeah, yeah, what does it say? I'm just curious. Uh, in this position, it gives just, about zeros. Yeah, so pushing, can we go back? Just like, let's say, right after, right after rook to, to e3. Rook to e3, yeah. yeah. Just I'm just curious. Okay, it's, it's equal, wow. Well. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And bishop e3, what is the evaluation? It's like plus 1.5. Oh, yeah. wow. Let it think a little so bit. Higher depth, it's probably going to be like plus 2. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the, yeah, okay, rook e8, then bishop d3, so that's also the only move. Wow. Yes. Yeah, okay, maybe I, I shouldn't be that upset, but uh, like I felt like I played the opening really well, and uh, the, the, I felt like the play was flowing mm -hmm. uh, quite well, but just. Uh, then yeah, it's similar with Aronia, yeah. Whole game I feel like I'm outplaying and then the 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 killer blow wasn't quite there. Right. Hans, we gotta ask you, what are the players feeling uh, seeing that Magnus Carlsen didn't show up for the game today? Yeah, actually it really uh, I was I was like struggling to even like focus. I was thinking about it the, the entire game. I was like I've never ever in my life uh, heard of a top player forfeiting game, even the world champion. Okay, I don't know if he said he wasn't going to play before or after the game, but for me to like see him forfeit the game, especially... It's, it's the first time in his career. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like it's just a very, very, uh, I don't know. What's okay. going through your mind? Well, uh, I'm speechless to be honest. Yeah. It's like, it's very weird, yeah. First he gives up the title, which I thought was first. I certainly was surprised. And then now this is, okay, I don't want to draw any conclusions, but it's very strange. But at least I got to beat him before he left. That's, that's the good thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you must be happy with this game and certainly with the quality of your play in this tournament so far. Well, uh, who cares about the quality? Results is what people remember. So uh, I, uh, this game against Aronian in here, I think I should have won both of these games considering um, the opening chances I got and uh, the mistakes they made but you know converting is, is a skill and uh, at least I can play decent chess. Mm -hmm. You're currently on two points out of three so your lead has three been... Four, yeah. You're on two out of three. All of Magnus Carlsen's uh, results will be annulled. But I get the rating, right? You do get the yeah, rating. Yeah. Then I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, that's pretty ridiculous. But wow. So, oh, two out... Okay. Yeah, I see. I guess he just didn't want me to win the tournament, so he had to leave, you know? He, had, he knew that that would happen. Yeah, I guess that was the only reason, yes? You can't think of anything else. <laughs> well, uh, Hans, uh, you think that he has some kind of personal thing against you? Why did you mention that? No, I have no idea. <laughs> it was just, that was it's obviously a sarcastic comment, yeah. Okay. Uh, because, okay, like, uh, uh, out of the, the four games, you know, he's, like, helping Nepo because he lost, you know? Yeah, I have no idea what, uh, <laughs> about the, anything. It's just, uh, it's, uh, of course, I would prefer for the win to count. Let's just leave it at that. Well, it counts for your rating. You're still over 2,700, and you're still putting on an impressive tournament here at the Singfield Cup. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Considering my current rating, you guys might think it's impressive, but 
I'm always striving for more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Hans, thanks for joining us here in the studio, certainly. We look forward to the remainder of your games, and good luck in them. Thank you. Indeed, Hans, uh, good luck, and thank you for today's very entertaining uh, game.